Yo ho bro, and welcome to the show. The Puka is not here right now. Instead, you have Jeff the Minion. And today we are going to be furthering our plot on this realm that we have stumbled upon. And we are going to start advancing upon the Glowing Isles. Starting with the really bad place. I think what we're going to do is that we're going to start building our chasm as wish the place that all of our minions are going to be pouring forth from. Probably a gaping hole down to the depths of hell. Along with uh, getting rid of most of this life that is just growing on the planet. Needs to be taken care of. So, I'm going to grab some bone blocks, start making this place a little bit more homely. Making the portal for which our minions could crawl out of. And making sure that this place can be a little bit more desolate. Plus, this island is a little small for me. This would be a, a nice place, but uh, it's not quite big enough for me. I think what we're going to do is we're going to start turning this into the volcano it needs to be. Yes. Very much yes. So, let's get ready to bring forth our evil. So, to the cunning observer, you m might have heard me say that I'm Jeff the Minion, and not Jeff the Nightmare. Well, that's because, because, uh... My most recent defeat at the hands of pretty much everybody, I've been demoted down to the Minion status. I used to have a, a bunch of power, a whole bunch of power. I took the hearts of just anybody that I wanted, and I used it, but unfortunately I don't have the power anymore, so I'm just kind of milling about, just trying to work my power, which comes to this point of my little tirade here. I, I can bring minions, and they're dark, eviler, they're stronger, unfortunately, they don't obey me in the in the least so um yeah yeah i'm gonna have a problem actually controlling all of my minions uh yeah we're gonna have to work on that for now i'm gonna have to get myself a bed and actually sleep through the night that's right jeff the nightmare is going to have to sleep through the night because he can't control his own minions Pope. So, if we're going to get our minions to actually pay attention to us, we're going to have to do some summoning from other worlds. I think this area might probably do us well. The first part of our little ritual, we're going to have to craft something unique to this universe and something outside of another. Here we have diamond gold, if I remember my alchemy correctly bones of the dead yes here we go a soul great gazer use on a creature to add to the beastry and this beastry we're going to be able to start collecting the information that we're going to need in order to summon different minions that we need so if we're going to be continuing this little project of ours. I'm gonna have to get some materials. Unfortunately, however, if we're gonna be continuing this little project of ours, we're going to have to get some materials. Unfortunately, I need to get them rather quickly, and the quickest way to do that is if I need it is to steal them. Oh, there is, there is. Oh, man. I think he's AFK. Sweet. Alright, I'm just going to come in here, grab some stuff. Is he AFK? I think he's AFK. Ha ha ha! Yeah, he's AFK. Alright, we're going to just waltz right in and we're going to take whatever we need. 
All right. Yeah. Right, so let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, stuff. Vibrant alloy. Ah, yes, diamonds. We're gonna need a bunch of those diamonds. Ah, oh, he doesn't have enough. Doesn't have enough. Well, we're gonna have to go get our own. Oh, good lord! There he is! Go, go, go! So, as I've stated before, I need a place to rest my head for the night because of my uh, unwilling subjects. So I need a temporary base to set up in order to see if I can start to influence my minions. And right here is a good spot. And what better way to say that I'm better than you than to rest my head on the top of someone else's fallen glory. So here we're going to start constructing the old disheveled ruins of hell. We're gonna start by making parts of the old nether fortresses and start having a balcony that we can have to start talking to our subjects, get them to start listening to us, and possibly head forth into our rightful land that we will conquer. So, I'm thinking that we're going to have this thing completely, completely floating. We're not going to have this being supported on anything but our own power. Yes. We're going to have to have some type of, uh, oh, I should probably put in some magma cubes. Just to, uh, signify the power of hell. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, four corners, four pillars, and a center base of operations here. So these four corners will be our balconies that we can talk to our subjects at, and then our main central area where we can do most of our dark magics. Yes, I think that's going to be doing nicely. That is going to be our plan for this area. We'll start... We'll start that process. We hopefully we'll get done today, but maybe not. We will definitely give it our all. But we're going to be using it for more than aesthetic reasons, possibly in the future. Like, right now we're using it for a semi-aesthetic purpose. Right down here, we're going to be building the base of our chasm and the doorway that our uh, minions are going to be coming forth in. Quiet minions! Ugh, those I have yet to actually tame. Anywho, we are down here and uh, it'll work. It's not quite as big as I want it to be, but it'll work. Anywho, this area is filled with netherrack and I need to summon some... Um, some minions in order to bring into this area. Now it's a, it's it's fairly complicated. Again, I I know these things a lot more than any of you do, and I'd rather not give away my secrets. So we need to start our summoning platform here. And the reason why I have the nether rack around here, ooh, magic boom, uh, is to in order to trick them into this world. Going, oh hey. This is uh, still a part of my world. They come into this place and they're trapped here. They really can't go back through the portal. It's super complicated. They just can't go back. Anywho. Summoning platform. Very, very necessary. Not going to tell you exactly why. Alright, so this is super complicated. Um, yes. Anyway. I'm going to open up the gateway. That gateway is going to be the physical manifestation of the demon that's going to come from hell into our world. Um, now, once I draw them into this world with the summoning staff, I'm going to have a fight on my hands. And this little circle is going to prevent me from being damaged by anything that tries to attack me when I'm ready. When I'm ready. So, let's get ready to capture ourselves a demon. Whoa. Uh, still small. All right. Oh. 
What incantation do I want to do first? Uh, incantation, incantation. Let's do a Belaf first. They're pretty... They're pretty t tame compared to all the demons of hell. Alright. Ready to summon a Belaf. Fight me! Alright, alright, alright. Now I need to... Uh, why aren't you guys fighting me? Hey, hey, fight! Wait, the pook is Belaf. What? The, what is going on down there in hell? Oh, everything's just cool down there in hell. You know, is everything's just kind of cool ever since you, you weren't in the you know hell, because you know everything was not so great. Oh, oh, it, it, it wasn't great when I was in hell, was it? Was it? No, no, not so much. It's. It's it's a lot better without you there. I mean, everything's just kind of cool. So, so why why are you actually called Puka's Belaf? Um, well, the guy hasn't really interacted with us m much, but we're kind of just acquaintances, not too much. We haven't attacked him much. All right, so you're telling me everything is cool in hell? Yeah. I think I need to change that. Well, they were kind of a pushover anyways. Let's see if there's any other demons in there that are not pukas. All right, minions, minions, minions. What do I want to do? Uh, let's summon darkness itself. That sounds good. All right, darkness incarnate. You shouldn't be pukas, minion. Darkness. All right, you are. Oh, for crying's sake! Uh, why? 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 Why are you? Why are you? Is just, just, just go back. Just go back to hell. Just go, go back. Go back. I don't, I don't understand you. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. Okay. There's, there's, there's several demons of hell. All right, apparently I need to summon the most deadly and meanest foe that is from hell. I know this one is not going to be Pukas. All right, summon a behemoth. Oh, yeah. This guy throws fell fireballs from his hands, and everywhere he walks is a flame of fell fire. You, my sir, are... Oh, crud. Really? 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 You two? You... Just just go back and help. Go, go, go back and just, just go, go, go. Don't want anything to do with you right now. So apparently what I need to do is I need to go into hell and get people mad. If people are mad, if I, if I can't have minions, then no one's gonna have minions. And I am going to get everybody in hell mad right now. Just, just right now, I'm just going to get everybody pissed. <laughs> this is what I like to see. I like to see when minions are all pissed off. Just all angry at me. <laughs> oh, there's the behemoth I know. All angry. The trites. Oh, the pathetic little trites. So amusing. Oh, Belaf. Oh, even you're mad now. Oh, goodness. Thank God. Oh, oh, your fire is so enjoyable. <laughs> oh, this is the hell that I come to love and understand. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Now I have the hell I know back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you caught me off guard. You little Afrit. I used to keep you guys as pets. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> oh. Oh, so much better. Okay. You know what? I might be able to do this with the overworld. 
get all of the creatures of the overworld upset. Then Puka has nowhere to run to, not even the safety of hell. Look at them all. They're all angry. Trees of the earth, creatures of the night. Oh, they're all angry. <laughs> oh, and they're all going to be mad at Puka. <laughs> well, this don't bold well. <laughs>